What's up everybody? Skunk 72 coming at you from Southern California. So today I'm doing the Bullfrog ride. It's part of Frog Fest at Elmo Valley Harley Davidson and it's a whole event to uh, help out fallen first responders. This is the third year of it and it's really, uh, this is called the Bullfrog ride because of Sergeant Steve Owen who I mentioned in a video uh, three years ago, I think. He was a sergeant for the Lancaster, California, Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. And he was ambushed and murdered by somebody that uh, made a false 911 call to get police to come and he just sat there waiting for him. And as soon as he showed up, uh, he shot Sergeant Owen, got him to the ground and went over to him and put a couple more bullets in his head. So that's what this ride is all about. It's, it's for Steve Owen. And I had uh, some issues lately. Every time I've tried to vlog, I haven't been able to because something has gone wrong. The last one that I was able to do was my Mountain Rainier ride, which still wasn't perfect because my batteries died in the middle of it and I lost half of my vlogging. Which I was not real happy about. Then today, when we were getting ready to hit the road from Antelope Valley Harley, I uh, went to start recording and my GoPro 7 somehow got the, uh, the one-touch recording turned off. I don't know how the hell that happened, but it did, so I wasn't able to record the first part of the ride, which is the best part. That's when like all the bikes are still together and they're leaving. You know, going to the first stop, we actually had the intersections blocked for us, so there was no stopping for red lights or anything, and I, I just missed all, all the good stuff, unfortunately. But, finally, at the second stop, I was able to get my cameras working. Um, I don't know how much I'm really going to vlog, because I'm just kind of enjoying the ride. Look at that, God. Two years ago, this lake was dry, and we were in the, the height of our, our drought, and maybe three years ago. I think three years ago it was totally dry. Two years ago we had decent rain and then this year we had decent rain. So the lake is kind of back. So for this ride I was able to get in on it. It was like $40 I think was uh, the rider fee. And you get a cool uh, pin which I'll, I'll try and take a picture of. And then you also get a t-shirt for being pre-registered which I'll also try and get a picture of to show y'all. But you know this one's for a good cause. One of the things I was pointing out on my vlog that I lost cruising in Washington was Triple X Deadhead is back. The Triple X man. I was so stoked when he started vlogging again. He's only done a few so far, but I'm sure he'll get back in the swing of things and start vlogging like he used to. And I'm looking really forward to it. Such a cool guy. Doesn't have his Harley anymore. Uh, him and his boy Gabe both uh, went and bought BMWs, BMW Adventure bikes. Which is fine, those are cool ass bikes. I love them and y'all know I'm not a motorcycle racist. I got respect for everybody that riding on two wheels. So the people I'm riding with up there, uh, I just met them at the, at the registration and started talking to them. We happen to have our bikes parked right next to each other. Uh, they know where they're going, I don't. So we all just decided to ride together and stick, uh, stick together for the ride, which is kind of nice for me. Since I thought I would know people here and absolutely nobody that I know showed up. I honestly don't care. I'm riding. That's all that matters to me right now. Oh, and next week, next week, I might have a new seat. We're going to see how things go. It's possible, though. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be exactly the one I wanted because I can't pass up an opportunity that I got. But look forward to the reveal on that as well as... Oh, crap. They did need help. Those, I think those were some people that were involved in our ride. I saw them on the way by and I gave them a wave, they waved back. I thought they were just stopping to rest and drink some water. 
Now I feel like it's heard. Oh, God, now I don't remember where I was. Well, I know I've uh, told you guys that Triple X Deadhead was the first channel that I ever subscribed to. And the way I found him was he test rode a 2013 Fat Bob, I believe. It was definitely Fat Bob. I think it was a 2013, and it was at the Progressive Motorcycle Show. Yeah, and that's kind of how my uh, obsession with the YouTube motovlog started was I was just looking for information on Fat Bobs. And I came across his video and started watching his vlogs. And then from that I found Sean Smoke. And the two of them kind of inspired me to start vlogging once I was able to get a bike. And I waited until I had some experience behind the bars before I uh, got involved in the vlogging. Just because, you know, when you're new you got to have every bit of your attention on the riding. So I waited a while. I got myself a refurbished GoPro Hero 3 camera. Doesn't have super view. Not the best camera in the world, but it worked and it got me started. From there I upgraded to my Hero 4 Black, which, uh, God, I don't remember if it was refurbished or not, but I found a deal on Amazon. And then uh, when the GoPro Hero 7 came out, because I really wanted a camera with some image stabilization. Well, when GoPro Hero 7 came out, I got the offer from GoPro to trade in a, any digital camera and get $100 off the Hero 7. Couldn't afford it, but I did it anyway. And honestly, I love this camera. I love the Hero 7. It has a few quirks that are going to have to need, they're going to need to be worked out in firmware updates. But all in all, it's a great camera and I love the Hyper Smooth. I'm wanting to get another one for uh, my handlebars. And that way when I start my handlebar cam up again, I'll have an image stabilized camera, then the footage will actually be able to be used because so far I've done a few with the two camera footage, but the handlebar camera footage was completely useless and I probably should have never even put it in. It was so, so bouncy and horrible. It was almost impossible to watch. I did run a test where I put my Hero 7 on the handlebars and it, it was great. The, the Hyper Smooth worked out perfectly. So I eventually I'm going to get another one to uh, put on my handlebars or maybe like maybe on a Hero Session 5. Although I like to film for a long time and the Session 5, I not that I ever had one so I don't know for sure but I think it's an internal battery only and you can't carry extra batteries with you. I do have a charging block, so I can try and make a way to just carry the charging block with me and keep it plugged in. That might work. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I never know what I'm going to do. So this ride that uh, the the Port Farm ride that I'm on right now is a poker run. It starts at Antelope Valley Harley Davidson and ends at Antelope Valley Harley Davidson. And they just have uh, certain spots. I'm sure you guys have been on poker runs before, but if you haven't. You go to five stops, that's including your final stop. And at each stop you draw a card, they mark what card you got on your paper. And the highest hand, after you've picked your cards, wins prizes. I'm not sure how many prizes they have. I, mean, I don't know if it's one big prize or there's like one, you know, one really cool prize and they work their way down. I, I don't know. I really didn't pay that much attention. It's not about winning anything. It's more about just supporting everything that this ride is about. You know, being that I am a first responder, it kind of hits a little close to home for me. Even though I work in EMS, and you know, we, do, not by everybody, but some people kind of treat EMS like we're the redhead stepchildren of the bunch. We don't get quite as much respect as the other guys. But you know what? I don't need anybody's, anybody's validation. For those of you that don't know, I'm a little belly. California, where Elo Valley Harley Davidson is, if you couldn't tell, is in the middle of the damn desert. So this whole ride is pretty much a whole desert ride. And these are the parts right here that I just hate. It's just a straightaway road. It's really not all that much fun. 
What's up, everybody? Uh, the whole uh, poker ride is over. I got a horrible hand. <laughs> my, like, my only hope is to maybe get the worst hand, which I doubt because I had an ace and a king in there, so I probably can't even get the worst hand to win. But I just wanted to show you guys everybody that showed up here. Well, some of them, anyway. A lot of them just did the ride and left. But I wanted to do a little more here, but it's like 90-something degrees, and I'm tired. It was a rough night at work last night, and so I'm pretty much doing this on no sleep, which I usually won't ride in this condition, but since this was already a planned thing and I already paid for it, I decided to come anyway. I think now I'm just gonna head home, so I wanted to wanted to pop back in and just say uh, Riverside down, sunny side up, and I will catch you all next time. Um, this is definitely not one of my best quality vlogs. It kind of came out horrible because the whole thing's going wrong. And, yeah, I just for the past month I just can't seem to get a good vlog without something going wrong. But I'm gonna go ahead and sign off and just uh, turn up some tunes and enjoy my ride home. So again, Riverside Down, Shiny Side Up, and talk to you all next time.